Mailbag times, yes. I don't, I don't know what this means. Spiders. Hey everyone, it's Fox from ModelMakingGuru.com here and yes, packages, packages have arrived. D -d -d -d. Yee, things, things to show you. So let's see what we've got. One from Amazon and one from Amazon. Excellent. Well, apparently it came from France or Italy or Spain or Germany. Okay, cool. Actually came from London, but there you go. Uh, let me put this to one side. Now, as you can see, the desk is clean. What does this mean? Lots of space. It means I finished that uh, and it's on to the next project, which is the transit van. So that's just about started. But I thought I'd film this for you really quickly. I've got a knife, but I don't know why it's an Amazon package. So yeah, this will be really boring now because these are really, oh, I thought it'd be hard to open. Ah. Get the... Ow. Took my fingerprint off. I can commit crimes now with just my thumb. Get the... Ow! Right. What's the first package? First package is is what is the first package? It is. It is hard to get out. I won't get it out. It's a fan for my PC. It's not very. It's not model making related. Uh, I'm a fan for my PC is going <laughs> all the time so about time I got a new one uh, the one I've got in mind doesn't work it doesn't exist anymore so I've had to get this in the hope it's the same size and works we'll see we'll see <sighs> that's the first one it's not really model making related now this one what could possibly be in this box well I know what's in this box but hey <laughs> you don't hmm <laughs> As you can tell, I've had about three enormous cups of coffee so far this morning, and I'm really, really hyper. Woohoo! So, there you go. Uh, I'm using my old knife here. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't use your best knife for this, you'll screw the blade up. This is something I ordered a week ago, and this is something I've got in for the uh, Bear Guy, the Metal Gear Solid Bear Guy. Let me just make sure there's no little receipts in here. Yes, there's one. Let me just remove this subtly so you don't see my address of financial details and we have all the pens in the world and also uh, for some reason a wine voucher from a craft shop okay don't quite know why that's there so anyway yes pens what have I ordered I have ordered uh, Uniposca paint pens now I've heard very good things about these they're basically like just normal think of them like Gundam markers or you know, uh, your Sharpie pens, but they're actually water-based paint. They're not actual ink. And apparently, well, I kind of thought they'd come in a package, but they're just loosely packed. So I'm really hoping there's a brown in here, because if there's not a brown, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, hopefully, I should be able to use them. There we go. To paint the bear guy. Now, if you remember, the bear guy, oh, two shades of, oh no, two shades of brown? Oh no, just two different sizes. Um, the bear guy is the Metal Gear Solid one that won the competition uh, to have a, the bear guy painted and designed and sent to. Uh, so that's going to get started at some point. But I didn't really want to brush paint all the, you know, the beard and stuff and all the other things on it. So I thought I'll get some of these paint pens. Apparently they're supposed to be really good. They're very opaque and they potentially give a smooth surface. I, I kind of doubt that. I think it's going to be a little bit rough. Uh, not the smoothest surface in the world, but it means for things like all the, you know, the the beard and the uh, the hair and things like that, I can actually use these pens because I'm, you know, I do drawing as well, so it's easier for me to draw with a pen than it is to draw with a brush. Although in my time I've done, you know, cartoon art with brush and ink as well as nib and ink and pens and everything. So yes, so we've got two sizes. Uh, we've got the PC3M, which is the slightly bigger one, and we have the PC1M, which is the finer tip, and you see the smaller pens. Um, they're basically, I'll get one out and show you. I won't, I won't activate it. Activate. But basically, they're just like a foamish tip, 
if you did it on camera, it'd be good. Firmish tip and you give it a good shake and then you press it down a few times and the paint will start to flow and it flows in the same as a Sharpie, uh, but there's a little device in here, spring device that regulates the flow of paint. But they are supposed to give you really nice solid colors. And if you go onto the user's a nice color, Ooh, slate grey, I like that one. That's going to come in handy for the old uh, Metal Gear Solid. If you go onto the YouTubes, there are plenty of videos of people painting, uh, for some reason, lots of surfboards. People tend to paint surfboards with these things and motorbike crash helmets and things. So we're going to use these. We're going to obviously lay down normal paint, but then we'll also use these on top for the detail painting. Um, now, the thing I'm hoping is that once I've done all this and let it dry for a bit and then spray on a, a, a gloss coat and a matte coat, it's not going to reactivate the paint when it gets covered in the varnish. That will kind of suck, but we'll find out. We'll f it could go horribly wrong, in which case I have to buy a new bear guy and start again. So, just a quick mailbox to show you what I've got. These Uniposca pens. I can't wait to get going with these. Now, it is going to be a while. I've got to do the transit van for e-models. So, I'm going to get that done first. As soon as that's been done, um, that I will then move on to the bear guy because... Uh, the chap that won the bear guy is uh, obviously waiting for that. Um, I've forgotten your name and I do apologise because I'm not by my PC at the moment, but to the chap who won the bear guy, please, please, please get in touch with me. I still haven't heard from you um, to confirm your address and things like that. I think, I can't remember, I might have heard from you, but I still need to hear from you to confirm that you're still around and that, you know, I need your address so when it's done I can send it to you. Uh, if not, when I finished it, if I haven't heard from you, I'll just have to give it away as a prize or something so it will be a shame because you did some brilliant artwork for it it was a brilliant design and i absolutely adored it so that's what i'm going to make so yes so that's going to do um the transit van is starting today i'm going to start the first filming today we'll get that done as quick as possible i'm doing a diorama for it so it may take a little while uh that will be the usual e-models build so it'll go up on e-models video channel first and then about a week later it'll go up on my channel uh, for everybody it's not a patreon build so everybody can see that and then once that's done this will be the next project with the bear guy and hopefully i can use these in some other projects because i've got a lot of them i might actually use them to paint random things you know that aren't models i don't know i'll find something that i can paint and do funky designs but yeah go on youtube and have a look at unique posca they're supposed to be very, very good. So I'm going to give them a, a field test on the bear guy. And when I've done it and I've used them for a bit, I'll probably do a little video review. Because in terms of painting funky details and custom designs on things, I'm hoping they're going to be really useful. Because then it might just lead to some really crazy stuff. So, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the first transit video, which should be up. Uh, well, I've got to do it and film it, so it's going to be at least a week bit more so don't panic if there's no video content for the next week or two it's just because i need to film that and give it to your models and they have to put it on their channel first so stay tuned i will go and try not to huff these paint pens apparently they don't smell that's gonna do it for now anyway be cool go and do something cool go make something cool adios amigos